come the stars, come to shine when it's dark From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder Our new van. We've got a Citroen Relay, long wheelbase high top L3 H2. If you're down with the kids, that sounds like you're going to break out into rap. L3 <laughs> H2, bro. Horses are running. So, swivel seat on this driver's seat, which is the CTA one. Really chuffed with that, and the double swivel seat as well. So, not only have we got five traveling seats also got a nice seating area as well i like to call it the lounge the lounge the lounge i like that two more fixed traveling seats here which again make a lovely lounge area just looking out again look at that view out there uh, yep five traveling seats and a lovely seating area it's one of the things that we missed out of his old van he's not having anywhere just to to lig around and, and, and sit without being on the bed well i like being on the bed as well so let's go back for oh, massive floor space everyone said how are you going to get five in a van and have a big floor space well we've managed to do it so we'll start with the kitchen area nice big sink my favorite nice tap which is what you wanted so we went pretty basic set up with the water we didn't bother with underslung tanks or anything like that because we don't we don't need it we hit a speed bump with us bathroom didn't we mm -hmm. so i think if we'd have had a shower and things obviously we would, would have gone with the underslung tanks but anyway we didn't so pretty basic but it it works so we've got a clean fresh water in there and a grey waste in there and they're 25 litres each water's that colour because I've just ruined my coffee cup <laughs> <laughs> little storage for all Millie's stuff bits and bobs, leads, treats, toys what's that white plastic thing there? oh they're, they're my child blocks they're really good actually clip it in like that Catch it onto the lock inside, open it slightly, click it in, open. £1.40 each. Two oh, for two. £1.40 for two. Baggy. Two main reasons for that. One, so Rory can't mess about with all the water because he loves water. And two, they kept opening when we were driving. Yeah. <laughs> you could say that kitchen's fine, but where's the hob? Oh, yes. Hob at that side, so we've got the split kitchen. We so. haven't yet put the gas in, have we? No. We've only just finished the van, so at the moment, it's for us plates, cups, and beers by the looks of it. <laughs> Everybody likes a cheeky beer in the van. So then. We have the fridge, which is under there. I've made a little cupboard under there for all his toys, nappies, etc. as well. Let me show you my favourite thing about the van. <laughs> got a dog's ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hook, and I absolutely love it. Overhead cupboards. These were the second ones I'd first ones that we did I want to happy with they looked all right but they just wasn't perfect 
You so did them your way and not my way. And now they're done my way, so... When you, oh, say, your, oh, when you say your way, always listen is it to your way? way? Yes, it is my way. That's how I said to do it. It's Rick's way. So, that, we've got eight foot of cupboards all in one. Also, all on gas struts as well. Which isn't too easy. Cutler is up here. Yeah. Reason being, I don't have any drawers. Yeah, we decided to go for the cupboards as, the as opposed to the drawers. Area. So I don't have a cutlery drawer, but that I think that worked all right actually. Yeah. But again, all the way along, it's nice to food. Just pop it open and they'll be on them gas struts as well. And we've got clothes at the back. And that will be another close. Another close cupboard there. Going into two skylights. We haven't bothered with the Max fans. Uh, again, they're the same size as a Max fan 400 by 400. So if we did want to go for one of them further down the line, we can. Got the fly net. And the blind, which is great. Yeah, complete blackout, yeah. rather. Speaking of blackout curtains, I think we've shown you these before if you've looked at us old vlogs. My favourite, apart from my dog's bum. Yeah. <laughs> my other favourite thing. So yeah, absolutely love them. An absolute game changer because they do just completely black out the van. Yeah, and they're made perfectly out there for the Citroens. And well, the, they yeah. are if you don't <laughs> frame out your windows first and then buy perfect fit blinds. <laughs> but that one's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. So on here, just a couple of little phone holders. We have some USBs. We've got the remote for the inverter. We've got the diesel heater. And we've got the two 40 volts. Light. Light switch. Now you could say, where's the toilet? Well, here we've got a wonderful seat which again it's not a traveling seat but just for ligging out looking straight out at that view out there stunning we wanted Love to it. do the more seats living area seats as possible didn't yeah. we because that's what we massively missed in the old van we had nowhere to sit in the day yeah and um, to be honest we've kind of compromised on the sleeping for the kids a little bit rather than doing a double bunk or triple bunks or out like that so we could have more of a living space because but kids the kids, will... kids are more than happy oh they're more than happy and the they'll sleep on a washing line won't they but uh so yeah we've got this little seat we take this off lift up and there we go Ooh. Little porta potty toilet. So again, you can just sit down on it. You don't have to bring it out or anything. Just sit down there. Pop that back. We do, or we will have, while we're on this, so we might as well go straight into the third use for it. That is Freddy's bed. So we don't have it to hand, do we? No. At the moment. But I've got a little ledge in there, which it goes across, sits on top of there. These go across. Do do, do do, and do do. It becomes a little sleeping palace for Freddy. That's Freddy's bed. He's chuffed. I love that. Probably brings on to Rory's bed. So if we go down, you see we've got the pod. And then in there is Rory's little bedroom. Really chuffed with how this has turned out. So again, I've boxed absolutely everything in so you can't get to anything. Jade's going to put him a bit of wallpaper or something up there. But yeah, Spider-Man's in bed there already. And then the big double. This also doubles up as a step to get into bed. 
sticky ipsy. <laughs> So we went for the IKEA bed, didn't we? Yes. Uh, not, not the. There's a couple of different IKEA beds. We went for the ones with the metal bars like this, and then screwed the lats into there. Really love it. It's so secure, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's and it's got to be with with chops underneath, hasn't it? But yeah, it's so secure. And then we've gone for a big 12 inch pocket sprung memory mattress which we, is really good isn't it? We also did the, I like to call them recesses, no idea what the correct term for them is so that we could have the bed this way because it just saves so much space being able to lay across. You can see the dropping around about 4 inch and then from there all the way you across to that side. I think you've got six foot six. Get that. I'm five foot eight and a half. And a half. And a half. Don't forget the half. Don't forget the half. So the plan is we're either going to put a TV bracket there on a swivel bracket so obviously it can face the bed or it can face the lounge area. We haven't quite got round to that yet so we're currently just using this. Hung on to my heart. Danny clips his phone in on a night. Probably works out better anyway when Rory will be asleep down there because he likes complete silence. Um, but yeah, show you my storage area, which is up here. Made this to go over it. And the amount of things that we can get up here it's currently got all the bedding oh talking about bedding Lexi's bed we have this which goes across the front seats which is great looks great made up real happy with that as well so let me take you round to the area that's made the most most difference for us with this man build and the step isn't as big which is great because I don't dislocate my hip every time I get out of the van either we've got a garage a garage absolute game changer with dry robes well not dry robes but dry robes Robert's cramp. Toolbox. So I uh, talk them through the old electrics. Your favourite subject? Beasts. 460 amp hours of power. 2000 watt for energy inverter. Uh, Renergy solar panel controller. Renergy Bluetooth controller. We have that running into a negative bus bar and positive bus bar obviously all the circuit breakers and everything and just on the far side of here it's all boxed in but is the 60 amp DC to DC again we run all the small appliances into a fuse board which has got the negatives at the bottom and the positives at the side which is a 12 way so we've got plenty more to add if we want to add that Yes, one of the things going into the negative is on a red cable because I run out of cable. But it still does the same job and I have packed it up so we know that it's a negative. But the, the garage is a game changer. Oh, massive. Especially, it's... we realised it with just going for a drive and then wanting to turn the seats round Rory's car seat you're still in a car seat yeah. so before in the Ibeco we used to have to take it out for uh, for Freddie's bed uh, but there was nowhere to put it take it straight out straight in the garage yeah. it's the little things it yeah. really is pram everything and there's, there's still so much more room for more stuff as well uh, yeah uh, one thing that I have mentioned external tank for the diesel eater 
Uh, we could have gone directly into the normal tank, but I do run. I run it fairly low. We prefer it that oh, way. I prefer it. It's easier, easier for us. We can see what we've got. We can see when we need to put more in. Yeah. I do like it. And the van starts. Yeah. <laughs> so that's our van. Drop us a comment if you like it. Drop us a comment if you don't. If you think we've done a crap job, let us know. If you think we've done a good job, let us know. Uh, Thanks for watching. On to the next one. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It is free. We will hopefully be back to making regular videos now. I know we've been a bit quiet, but your support means a lot. So, Thank you very much. See you later.